Yeah. It's been a while. Two. Yeah. Thank you. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah. No idea. <sighs> it's weird that it's, uh, that it's been that long. It's been two years already. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's true. Thinking about that uh that night when we wa when we launched the channel. Um it doesn't it doesn't feel like it was two years ago. It feels like longer, honestly. I don't know if it feels like it's been a short amount of time, but Unis Honest for me feels like it was like a decade ago. It feels so far away. So far away. Do you think that with that fading, that the um, that the way that the channel impacted you has changed? Like it has gone from this big thing in your mind to something that you just did a few years ago. You know what I mean? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't, the, the way that it affected me hasn't changed. I think that it, it hasn't faded at all. I still, I think about Unis Honus a lot, not, not necessarily in like a, oh, I miss it. And like, I do miss it, but I think about the way that it affected me a lot in the way that it changed me and the way that it changed the way that I operate, like not only as like a person making videos or whatever, but like just day to day, I feel, I feel like I, I learned how to appreciate stuff a little bit more with Unis Honest. And I feel like with different things that I've worked on and different things where I'm like, I want to try and appreciate this more Unis Honest taught me I feel like how to do that because I feel like I've I've never like lived in the moment more than than I did with Unis Honest. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. I'm I miss um I miss that grind a lot. Like I, it's different. 
I don't even necessarily know if I miss that grind. I miss the the feeling of togetherness that that we had, all three of us. Like, I miss that feeling of being able to work with people like that, you know? Because I I don't get that every day, and I know that you don't get that every day. And, like, I miss... Um, I miss that routine a lot and um, I think that it's very easy to feel kind of lonely and I think that despite a lot of hard stuff that happened in that year both like personally and obviously the world like I think that Unis Anis in doing that was one of the times where I felt the least alone ever. And I'm, I miss that a lot. So it's funny because this year, um, you know, I think there was a lot of people in the first year of it ending that there was still a lot of talk about, about Unis Anis and what the channel was overall and what the channel was to people individually. Um, but now, and this will continue to happen, is that, and I say this like, almost selfishly in a way that like the channel getting further away from it being alive it's like turning it more into this legend which is really cool um because i i've i've talked to so many people and seen so many people in this last year that have that have said like oh you know i i wasn't there for unisonis or um i was there right at the end or like even some people like I just found out that Unis Honest was a thing and I wish that I could have been there for it. But it's crazy just seeing it morph into more of this like little YouTube legend where it's like, yeah, not everybody got to experience it. And that number of people will only grow as time passes of more and more people being like, yeah, I wasn't there. Like I wish that I was, but I, I wasn't and I'll never be able to see that. And I wish that I could have been a part of that. I think there was something so 
so beautiful about um, about the willingness to let it go. And that's something that made it so much more special. And I know that, that that's something that we've talked about a lot, which was the whole meaning behind the channel. was It was special because it had to die and stuff like that. But like going day to day, I don't feel as excited as I did with stuff with Unis Honest. I still feel excited and um, and I still feel passion behind things, but there was this certain feeling that I got with Unis Honest where every video felt, felt special in a way and every video felt exciting and like it had a purpose. And I think a lot of that was because we knew that it was going to end and every day that we put out something, no matter what it was, it was, okay, that's another tally mark on the wall, getting closer and closer to everything going away. Um, and it just, um, I don't know. I, I still haven't found a feeling quite like that. And I can think back on times in Unis Honest and I can feel like how I felt during that time like if you get like a weird smell and it like triggers a memory i get that a lot with thinking about unis honest um Just <laughs> here's a an interesting question um just because i know you pretty well and i know the way that your brain works with certain stuff um and i think that unus honest was also like a testament to that with the way that we were willing to let things go and how we knew the purpose of the channel and stuff like that and I know that everything isn't, ha, black and white. Oh, but do you, do you ever feel sad about Unis Honest? Like, I know that overall, I think everything is kind of bittersweet. And a lot of it is, is pride. Um, where you feel proud of the things that we made. But like, do you ever f feel sad about it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> that is it's it it's kind of a weird thing because like the stuff that we've made 
since then. Um, I've I've felt like it's always been fun and enjoyable and stuff like that. But sometimes it's like <laughs> sometimes it's very hard um, because of Unis Honest. It's almost like stay with me here. It's it's almost like being good friends with an ex in a way where like we've made videos and it's been really fun and I enjoy doing it. But sometimes it's just like, oh man, it makes me a little sad where it's like, oh, like remember what we used to have. <laughs> you know what I mean though? <laughs> you know what I mean? I know. Present for me. Under my Oh. Otter Bobs. Otter Bobs. They're not melted. They're not melted. They're still very much alive and intact. Do you remember the the video that this was from? Or the it was probably multiple. I think it was Brick Soccer. <laughs> Cut to five seconds ago you being like, you wanna find true meaning in something? <laughs> Brick soccer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it didn't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's. It's nice that, you know, as a whole, the people who were there, they all have this kind of thing in, in common. Um, and I think it's nice that the community sort of lives on and that people are able to still get meaning from it. Um, like a friend of mine who wasn't like a fan of the channel, he's just a good friend. He had an Unis Honest shirt on and he was walking down the street and somebody just looked at him and like gave him a knowing nod and was like, nice shirt. Um, and I just think it's cool that people can have that kind of relationship with each other through the memory of the channel and people can still like get the meaning of it, you know, and still take that with them. I don't know. Nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
Mm -hmm. Yeah, just pretend like it didn't exist. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's nice to... It's nice to be able to come back every year and just think about it, you know, and to just talk about it and to remember what it was and to remember all of those times. Because I I think about Unis Honest a lot, but not on this kind of level where I just kind of sit and think about it a little bit and um, sort of allow myself to remember, I guess. Um, I don't know. It's, it is really like, not as severe, obviously, but it is really like grieving a friend who passed away in a way, you know, because we'll never, we'll never be able to get that back ever, you know, no matter what we do in the future, even if we were, and we won't do a tunis on us, it would not be the same, you know, it's not the same thing people won't be able to relive that you know um unis honest will never be able to happen again because it won't ever be able to happen for the first time again and that's kind of what made it special um and so it's nice to kind of be able to remember and grieve in a way um and just be like yeah hmm Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I hope we're not doing this in 20 years. What color do you want? Green. <laughs> do you need scissors? Come on, Mamie, have an otter pop. Come on, Mamie. For all the time. Give me an otter pop. Otter pop. You got it. Who knows if it's going to die first? I hope it's me. I'll see you next year.